share this with you guys. I also got this as well. This is what I used to pile the, the uranium type glass in there. Um, it was, um, let's see, four dollars. So I was like, oh my gosh, I like this. It's a baby Jesus basket. And then another lady, when I was walking out of the store, she was like, oh my gosh, that's a cute, uh, a cute basket. It's like a Moses basket. So I wasn't wrong. <laughs> But yeah, I got that. So I thought that was really cool. I think it will look pretty with like blankets coming out of it and stuff, you know? Hello everybody. Welcome back to another countertop haul video. These are the items that I got when I went to Goodwill last weekend. You guys already saw that shop with me. Um, actually that should have, this should have been posted before yesterday's, um, you know, video from, uh, Salvation Army, but who's like keeping track, right? So these are the items that I found there. It was a Sunday. I was by myself. However, it was very busy and in my opinions, slim picking. So I guess let's just get started. <laughs> uh, you guys saw in the video, I grabbed these like uh, salad slash bread plates. There was some saucers, but the saucers of this collection don't sell for anything really. Even with the mugs, they don't. So this is the Black Lilies collection. So it was pretty popular. I want to say it said, it's the 70s or the 80s. I don't remember, because this is like a week ago when I looked them up. So um, yeah, so I got those at $1.18 a piece. Then I got this little ceramic, not old or anything, three bucks, but I got this ceramic egg holder to go with my Easter um, decor this year. I have another one, but I think it's like half the size. It's smaller. That, I don't know what I, I don't remember what I did with it last year. I'd have to look on Instagram to see if I took any pictures. I don't remember. <laughs> so we got that. We, I mean, that means I, or you and me, because I took you shopping with me. Then I got this salt and pepper shaker. Hold on, I have the hair on my face and it tickles. Whoa, cat hair. I got this uh, salt and pepper shaker set for $3. It's, I can't remember this one's name, but this one, you know, it's one of the things that were on the moon. The little rover type dealies that were on the moon. The rover is not the correct name but <clears throat> you get the point it's I don't think it's there anymore but yeah the little salt and pepper shaker set how cute is that I mean even if you had like a like if your kids or grandkids or whatever were into like uh, space or robots or any kind of little thing like that that'd even be a cute figurine to sit on a shelf so I thought that was pretty neat then I went back and forth on if I was going to put this little thing back it's, it would hold like your pancake syrup. It's not terribly old, probably like 2000s, maybe late 90s. But there are people that collect these figural um, type things, these like sort of realistic and different fancy looking. It's not realistic, but you know what I'm saying. It's not a typical, um, <clears throat> what you call it, like syrup doohickey. <laughs> it's shaped like pancakes. So, and it's, it's on the smaller side. It's kind of tiny, you know, but it's cute. There's lots of people that collect these things along with, you know, different teapots and such. So then let's talk about these guys. Oh my goodness. Don't look at my empty paper towel roll. Thank you, children. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about these guys. Um, these two I kind of found on accident. Do you guys remember... A few videos back, I did a St. Vincent video where I got the, like, a plastic Easter basket for free. And in that video, I showed these little handmade bunnies. Well, I, I listed those bunnies, but I was looking them up to see, like, a comparable sort of price for a handmade item that size, blah, blah, blah. So, when I was looking these Easter bunnies up, these other Easter bunnies were coming up. And they were selling for 30 to $60. And I was like, what? For these, I remember these little cheapy bunnies back in the day. 
um, like would come with the Easter baskets and stuff. And I couldn't believe that's what they were going for. This exact bunny in blue um, went for like $48 or $58, something like that. I've already got, well, I got to put him in a plastic, but I listed him first and he's in some plastic and I got to put him in some plastic. But um, yeah, so I was like, wow, these are like, you know, the little night. It had the same tag, the 90s ones. Um, oh yeah, I forgot I got these. I had to send these to D. I'll show you guys. I got her some, um, horror movies, but I've been trying to scout out, uh, teacups for, for Jessica, for her daughter. So I haven't sent them yet because I wanted to send them along with something else. But anyways, back to the bunny. Um, so yeah, so be on the lookout. That's a, that's a bolo, you guys. Be on the lookout for these um, older Easter bunnies that would have come with your Easter baskets or your parents would have bought, brought them, bought them separately back in the day. <laughs> you never know. You just never know what's going to sell. Um, you know, kids of the, the 90s, they're buying their toys back. Kids of the 80s are buying their toys back. So these things are pretty popular. Um, this one still has its ear tag sugar loaf and if i remember correctly a lot of these sugar loaf things were in those claw machines or they were like prizes um like if you played um played if you like a carnival or like uh well not like chuck e cheese i'm just saying it was like a a prize you could win it somehow but let's see his little tushy tag says sugar loaf and then just so you guys know that just because it says made in China doesn't mean that it's not necessarily vintage. So it's Sugarloaf and then it's 1995. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to be 36. So that means my brother is going to be 25. So that's 25 years old. And in Etsy world, that is vintage. So just because it says made in China, don't just automatically discard it. Um, look it up. Let's move on. All right, so this movie was really popular in the 90s. I remember watching it. So I just thought, oh, wow, I haven't seen that in forever. Let me look it up. So I look it up, and it sells between $12 and $15, which is um, pretty good for a DVD these days, an open DVD. So a lot of the, I guess, DVDs that kind of sell are not your typical average, like, everyday movie. So you'll want to look up those kind of ones that look off the wall, like... You know, like it might have been a bootleg or something something at one time. I mean, it's probably not, but it doesn't look like, it's not like super mainstream. It's not something you ever heard of. So you'll want to look those up because sometimes those can be, um, those can be up there. When I was looking at this, oh, someone's doing their yard now, of course. Um, when I was looking at this, there is a collector series from the History Channel of... It was a collector series of the, like, World War II, I believe. But as much as they wanted for it is about what it sold on eBay for. So I was like, oh, my gosh, there's no money to be made. But it just proves that it sells. So if you guys see those History Channel movies that are about certain things, look those up, too. Even if it's DVD. I know people are getting past kind of DVDs or whatever. But it's going to have its comeback. It's going to, they're going to come back around and, you know, people... You know, it's just going to be vintage and be like, oh my gosh, you know, $5,000 for a DVD player. Kind of like how, I mean, that's a, exaggerated, of course, but kind of how they are with um, VHS players right now. If that bad boy works, those can sell for Buku bucks. And if it has its remote, keep a lookout for that. On to the next thing. Got some kids books there. Oh my gosh, they're going to be annoying. Can you guys hear that? Maybe I'll try and close my window. Oh, these crank windows are for the birds. Oh, there we go. It's nice out today, though. Okay, so got some kids' books. And why do kids have to scribble all over everything? Ugh. So it scribbled all over, but they were a dollar or something. They're kind of pricier at Goodwill. Look, they were counting down. <laughs> all right. So. It's a cute cover though. This one is cute too, but it's like, it's super obvious that it was scribbled on, but that would be cute for spring or like back to school display. That's cute. 
So I probably am gonna keep these because they're so scribbled on or I would have put them in a lot for maybe like five or six bucks buy it now. But no, cause they're scribbled on. Then I found these. These, um, people have them listed as rare. Not quite sure what makes them so rare, but that's how the listings are. Unless, unless, and this happens a lot, one person listed it, said it was rare, and then every person after that copied their listing and kept the word rare in their title. So if you guys wanna copy listings, make up your own title. <laughs> that's what I do. Um, so let's see, it's from 1981, Rourke Publications, and I have these already listed as well. Some of these, oh there, Giles Reed, that's who it is. Um, some of these, depending on the character, goes for more than others. Like there's the banana bunch, and then here's the whole bunch. And then you could get all their different books. So it didn't quite explain why these were rare, unless, like I said, it was just somebody copying a listing and then every person after that sort of copied it and wasn't very um, imaginative in their title. They sort of kept the other person's title. So <clears throat> be wary of that. And this I forgot to show from Salvation Army. This was one of the like one things that I got the other day or did I go with the kids? I think I might've been with my kids, but either way, I listed it. I hardly come across Lucy mugs and when I do, they're usually chipped or they're in the antique stores, in the antique booths. So I was super happy to come across this one. This one sells between like 15 and $18. I think I have a buy it now or best offer for like $14.99. It's so cute. It's from 2006, so it makes it, I think, what, 14 years old? So really cute and it's in really good shape the graphics are real nice love that all right talking a lot today huh then oh my gosh i love these i love 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 this this pattern these colors i love them the handle is a parrot so a little bit of information about these I liked these just for the look. I said, I don't care if they're, they're, you know, well, if they were worth a lot, a lot, then I would have sold them. But my point was they were $1.18. If they're not worth doo-doo, I'm okay with being stuck with them because I love those colors and the pattern and the tigers. Like when my daughter saw them, she was like, mom, that's all you. That's totally you. So not necessarily how I like decorate the house or anything, but it it's reminiscent of some Art Nouveau and Art Deco um, like de decor that I like where they it, like uh, the jungle theme was kind of not kind of it was pretty popular within their decor. And that's this. I mean, it's, I'm not saying this looks Art Deco, but when I think of the tigers and this tropical stuff, that's what it kind of takes me back to. And I'm like, oh, I want it. I love it. You know. So anyways, <laughs> this is Vitro Master. And if you find Vitro Master, that's great if they're like salad plates, uh, dinner plates, butter dishes, whatever. Those sell a lot better than the coffee mugs. This is the Rainforest Collection. There are other collections made by Vitro Master, but if you find them, I noticed that they sell a lot better when it's not a coffee mug. <laughs> These coffee mugs, I think a set of five or six I saw sold for like $8. So, and that's pretty bad. <laughs> but like I said, I didn't get them with, I was like, oh my gosh, let me look those up. They're probably worth a million dollars. No, I got them because I like them. So I'll have to get rid of a couple. <laughs> then we spotted this Thousand Wishes um, hand soap. It had the price sticker right here. It was $2.98. I took it off because we were going to use it. And I was like, oh, I forgot I was going to do a video. So here it is. Thousand Wishes. Smells delicious. Um, it's sparkling champagne, peonies, and almond cream. I love it. Then the last few items I have. I was over the moon when I found this Indiana plate. You guys know I love these collector's plates. They sell well for me. But I was so excited because it was Indiana. You know, Misty, thrifter, junker, vintage hunter. She is in Indiana and it has a Santa Claus on it. So I got it for the $1.18. These sell, this particular plate sells really well. But I told her if she didn't have it that I wanted her to have it. 
Um, if not, I would list it. So, you know, she didn't have to say yes just because, you know. But she does end up, she does have this plate. So, I'm going to end up listing this plate. It's so freaking cute. I love it. How many times have I said that this video? Someone's going to count and put it in the description you watch. Then I found this beauty. So pretty. So pretty. It is Royal Albert. And it's the Enchantment Collection. Um, the, it was the, this size plate, the smaller ones were like, eh, but this size plate on its own, like you didn't have to have a set was like 20 to $28. I was like, oh really? Okay. So I always check these kinds of things, the plates and stuff. Um, yeah. So we'll see how that one does. It's gorgeous, right? We got that. And then the last thing I got was this really tiny, like minty, greenish. Yeah, it's not really blue. It's more of like a green um, Easter basket. I liked it because it was so tiny. And it is older from 2004. But I want to get it for my um, Easter display. And it's small enough how short it is. It's small enough to fit over on my... I would show you my baker's rack. But it is decorated for something that Misty and I have in the works for St. Patrick's Day. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. So, I mean, I would show you like how it fits. But I can't spoil the surprise. You guys will just have to tune back in for that. But imagine like pretty moss in here and some like vintage eggs or um, if you put moss or, you know, I don't want to do, I can't do the grass really because my cats eat it. So if I did something like that, um, maybe um, vintage Easter toys or something. Oh my gosh, you could do this a million ways and I love it. So anyways, guys, we are at the end of the video. As always, let me know which item was your favorite. Which item? We have the Indiana plate, Royal Albert plate, my tiger mugs. We have the children's books, the 90s stuffed animals. And like I said, it wasn't a whole, whole lot this video, but we got these um, spooky movies here. Wasn't a whole, whole lot, but I mean, I, I had fun. I hope you guys enjoy watching these videos. So leave your favorite item down below. Let me know what you might have left behind. And I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Have a good weekend. Bye.